Would you like to have a seat? How do you been feeling? I'm just anxious to find out whether the chemotherapy has worked this time. Unfortunately, the chemotherapy has not worked. You know, the best option that we have now is for you to have a high dose of chemotherapy. High dose of chemotherapy will cause severe anemia. What do you mean by severe anemia? Can be very dangerous, but it actually can be treated. With I know what you're going to say. We've studied anemia in school. It can be treated with a blood transfusion. But I can't have a blood transfusion. You know this, Doctor. I'm a Jehovah's Witness. Let me explain things a little bit more before you make a decision. If you get the high dose of chemotherapy and the blood transfusion, then you do have a 50% chance of being cured. If you continue to treat the cancer without the transfusion, then actually you have an 80% chance of death. Those blood transfusions could save your life. So you need one every couple of months, and we would continue to monitor your hemoglobin levels I'm not having a transfusion. It's against my religion, my beliefs, everything I've grown up knowing. Doctor, you must understand our faith uh, forbids blood transfusion, regardless of whether or not it's going to save her life. I can see that you are getting upset about this. I'll give you some time to think about it. There's no need to be so patronizing. I didn't need time to think when you're doing blood tests, biopsies, and chemotherapy. I've always made my opinion on blood transfusions very clear. There must be another option. There is no other option. As I explained, you will need to continue to get the chemotherapy and the transfusion. Otherwise, you won't have a good chance at survival. I know. You already said that. And I said I don't want it. You can't force me. I swear, if you put a blood transfusion in me, I'll rip it out. Well, I hope that after all these years of doing the treatment, you understand our faith. It's like one bad news after another, as if going into remission wasn't enough. Now I could end up with severe anemia, and the only way that's treatable is forbidden. I know, I know. God has a plan. Everything's going to be okay. It's like I don't have it in control over my body, and that doctor wasn't even listening. Just because I'm a teenager, it's my illness, my body. Why can't I make the choices?